Hello, this is Reverend David Hupp with his Print Media Ministries. I had made a series of videos on converting uh, negatives and stripped in a mask for a printing press to make uh, what we call gospel tracks. Uh, you see here a picture of a scan of a printed copy of, of a gospel track, the front or the outside. And uh, one thing I didn't know at that time I'd like to share with you today of how we uh, maintain the colors, color separations. You have the blue here and the screen of the blue and, and the black. Uh, they're scanned as two negatives. First off, I'd like to show you that why we scan from a negative if it's, if it's available uh, because scanning here, like you see here, the the paper, the printed tract, uh, with a quality scanner, when you, it looks reasonably okay, perhaps. But when you blow it up, you'll see a notice a couple of things. So now we're going to blow it up, and you'll see when you blow it up, the text is not really acceptable. And then you'll see over here on the other side. When we go down, to the the paper texture has made the black uneven, and and even up in the title, you can see how how ratty the title is. And then down here, you can see the screens, uh, especially over here on the person's robe, the screens just are not uh, not uniform, and and there's this screen here is so faded. If you ever wanted to print this on a printing press again. Uh, using the computer document, it, it, it wouldn't uh, show up well at all. Here you see the finished cover that was made from the negative but was uh, fixed better by a couple things. So let's zoom in and I'll show you some, uh, some improvements here. First of all, the title, it was all ratty. It may be a little blurry when you blow it way up, but you can see that it's a solid color. I achieved that by using the paint bucket tool over here in the tools palette of uh, Photoshop uh, CS5. And then I double clicked on these two overlapping color things here, and so I was able to pick a color, a known color for printers, and pour in that color with the paint bucket into the other color here. And then you look down and you see the screens by using the paint bucket and pouring in the, 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 the color with the paint bucket. I was able to use the sliders to make a tint of the color so I could actually make, using just two colors, I could make this document appear to be other colors by screening back the full strength of the 293 blue and making a like a 40% tint here and maybe a a uh, 50% tint here. This is the inside of the tract. Uh, you can see the idea is that if you don't have a sophisticated page layout program like uh, Adobe InDesign CS5 like I do, uh, more people are apt to have the lower priced Photoshop and uh, you can lay out the uh, grid lines here for your margins and completely uh, scan and center from a negative the two colors the blue there was a blue negative and a black negative uh, they both originally after scanning uh, they showed up in Photoshop as what's called you go up here under image mode and now it's a CMYK but down the list here but it was a uh, grayscale and so there's an issue uh, when you first scan and open these the blue play, the blue image, and the black image. How you combine them together, and how you get them to maintain their colors when they're combined together. First, let's uh, uh, this shows you the difference now uh, from the. Remember how ratty the text was uh, when it was taken from a printed copy, but from the negative, you can see it, it looks a lot nicer. And I was able to get the nice blue. Uh, about a 293 blue. Notice over here in the layers palette 
Well, I have to move the layers, layer, layers palette over so you can see if I can, because it's it's not uh, available right now. These are called palettes, and so you can see that by combining the two negatives together, I have a black and a blue, and you undo the undo the black and you get the blue and we took out the blue background for the most part the white background so the two colors could overlap and then on the other hand we the blue uh, there's the the blue is on its own la a layer so if a person wanted to go back to a two color printing press uh, they would be able to print the two separations uh, could are maintained from Photoshop when making a uh, printing plate from what's called a film positive and a light exposure box. So in the past I was able to take the black plate which was a image mode and it was a grayscale and it looked fine to me. I didn't have to take out the background so I went up under image and then I went to a canvas size right here and I put in my size of the eight and a half by 11 for a laser printer and uh, then I was able to uh, go f uh, file place and I was able to put in the different parts that I had scanned of the black and then I was able to select half of it scan it and then bring it down and duplicate it on the bottom so I get two tracks per eight and a half by 11 page and uh, that seemed to work pretty well but I ran into a snag when I tried to import the blue, uh, when I tried to put it in with the black, it didn't work right. I've forgotten to show you the picture of what the large format 11 by 17 scanner looked like. It has, unlike other scanners, it has a complete lid area with a light built in. Without that uh, light in the lid, it's almost impossible to get a good scan from a negative that you see here stripped up in a mask to turn it into a positive for a digital document uh, that will could work for a laser printer or a printing press. Hi, I separated the two colors and I laid them out perfectly. Uh, two gospel tracks per eight and a half by 11 page in Photoshop. Here you see it's the black and you'll see up here under image the mode is the grayscale mode and then we'll take a look at the blue there's the blue it's not blue yet but this is going to be just the heading subheadings on the inside of the track that are going to be turned into blue so let me just show what happens uh, first of all we need to turn it into blue so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go under here on the image mode and it's grayscale. We're going to change it to duotone. And then we're going to change it to monotone under type here. And then we're going to double click on here. And you get your choice of Pantone colors and you pick on 293 and click OK. And so then you click OK over here. So now we've got the blue color, but it, it's going to have a problem with the white background. And uh, not only that, so let's see what happens when we select all. Okay, now we're going to go edit copy. And now we're going to go to the uh, black color. And let's see what happens when we try to paste uh, the, the, the image. We made it a 293 blue but we didn't get rid of the background and it's still in the it's not in the CMYK mode so let's see what happens when we go edit paste it, it the white background covered over the the black so that's not going to work for us and second of all the blue went away and it turned into black so this was the impasse I had in previous videos we're changing the blue color or what would be the printing press's blue plate. We're going to now change that to solve the problem of in, it not going into the black. 
for the two reasons, the, the white background and the fact that uh, the somehow the blue is turning into uh, black when it goes over and is cut and pasted into the black over the black plate. So first of all, we have to change the mode from duotone, image mode, duotone, and we're going to change it down to CMYK and go OK. And now we're going to change, get rid of the background. We get rid of the background with the magic, with the paint bucket tool set up here at about tolerance of about two. We don't want to eliminate any of the blue, just the black. Tolerance is blue. We're on the paint bucket tool and we're going to pour in. Uh, we're going to, oh, we're going to select that. We want to select the the background. I was on the wrong tool. It's the magic wand tool you see here, the third one down. So with the magic wand tool and the tolerance on two up here, we're going to select the white background. It's taking a while because it's a big file size. Okay, the white background is is selected now and I'm going to press delete. Now we've got a clear background and then we can go select, deselect. And now before we take it into the black, we have to go to the black and make sure that it also is uh, it's not a grayscale mode. I'm in the black plate now. Mode. It says grayscale. It's not going to work. So we have to go down and make it a CMYK color. And now, so this is CMYK, no longer grayscale, makes it a bigger file size, but it makes it compatible. Now we're going to go back to the blue. We're going to make this one image mode. It, we, we already made it CMYK. That's right. Now we can go select all of the blue. And now this time when we go edit, copy, then we go to the black. And now when we go edit, paste, we see that the uh, we have to move it around. We have to use the move, move tool to align the the blue where we want it. You can use the arrow, click and drag, or you can use the arrow tools when you're on. Now, if you look over here in the layers palette, you'll see we've got the new layer, which is the blue layer, and the background layer, which is the black. And by clicking on either one, you'll be able to use the color separations and separate and print the color separately. Uh, on the printing press to make plates for a printing press, films for a printing press, or uh, on the laser printer, uh, it doesn't uh, care. You just print it as a color document. So that that was the way to get around the problem of making sure that any kind of color plate you s create from a negative, a color, what was to be a negative for a color, how you make it compatible to fit together with the black. They go on two layers. You align them with the move tool depending on which one you have uh, highlighted and which one you have off. And you see the clear background in the combination of the two uh, prevents interference of the blue background, the white, over the, the black. So you've got a really big file size here, but you've made something from a negative that's that's good quality, didn't have to be retyped and laid out again. And so that's the answer for this video of making the two colors document like was before with the negatives and keeping the two colors so they can separate on separate layers and don't interfere with each other. And they can be made uh, what's called a Pantone matching system color that is in a swatch book and a person can use. Thank you. Stay tuned for future videos.